action. This is Brett okay, Stover. Okay, so now we're going to take all of those um, pieces of information that we got in the last section, and we're going to add them to this graphic organizer to help us keep them straight. Um, if you notice, the very top one is going to be the picture of the parallelogram. So we'll write parallelogram in the very top one. And we'll put just a quick definition of a parallelogram. So what would be the definition of a parallelogram? It's going to be a quadrilateral, right, with two pair of what? Parallel sides, right? Two pair of parallel sides. And then if we want to talk about the bullets or the important things that we know about the parallelogram, well, one thing that we know is that the opposite sides are what? Opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent, right? We also know that what? Opposite angles are what? Congruent also, very good. We know that consecutive, or what was the other thing we called consecutive angles? Remember, same side? Are what? Supplementary? Mm -hmm. Okay? And we've learned that the diagonals bisect each other. So that's four bullets that we want to make sure that we have for the parallelogram. Four bullets that we have for the parallelogram. That opposite sides are congruent. Opposite angles are congruent. Consecutive angles are same side. Interior angles are supplementary. And that the diagonals bisect one another. Okay? Now, two types of parallelograms would be the what? The rectangle and the what? The rhombus. Okay? So if we talk about the rectangle, what are some things that we know about the rectangle? Well, the rectangle is a parallelogram, right, with four right angles, okay, with four right angles. So in addition to all of these four bullets that are true for all parallelograms, the rectangle also has what? Congruent diagonals. Now, do all parallelograms have congruent diagonals? Do all parallelograms have congruent diagonals? No. No, just what? Rectangles. Rectangles. Okay. Do rectangles have opposite sides that are congruent? Yes. Do rectangles have opposite angles that are congruent? Yes. yes. Do rectangles have consecutive or same side angles that are supplementary? Yes. Do the rectangle angle diagonals bisect each other? Yes. But in addition, they also have congruent diagonals. Yeah? So what do we know about the rhombus? What is the rhombus? The rhombus is a parallelogram that has what? Four congruent sides. Okay? Mm -hmm. What do we know about the rhombus in addition to the characteristics of the parallelogram? Well, we also know that the diagonals, diagonals sorry, the diagonals bisect the opposite angle, meaning that the diagonals are what? Angle bisectors, right? And then we also know that the diagonals are what? Perpendicular. Perpendicular meaning that they form what? 90 degree angles. Very good. Now remember, again, that the rhombus has these special characteristics in addition to the characteristics that all parallelograms share, right? All right. Now, let's look at the last one. What is this one? The square. Now, the square.
square has what? Four congruent sides and what? Four right angles. So the square shares all the characteristics of what? All of them. All of them. Very good. All the characteristics of the rectangle and the what? Rhombus. The rhombus. So for the square, the square has congruent diagonals, perpendicular diagonals, and diagonals that form angle bisectors. Okay.